chat history move to iPhone, guys. Hello, guys. How you doing? This is su amigo Alex, your friend Alex. And today I'm going to give you a step by step guide on how to move your WhatsApp data from an Android device to the new iPhone 16 Pro Max. Please try to watch this video from the beginning until the end so you don't miss any of the steps that I'm going to give you. First, we're going to check a couple of things, right? On the Android, I want you to go to settings and you're going to click on software update. Download and install. It looks like we have an update. Just let it do it. And it says your software is up to date. One UI version 6.1, Android version 14. Security patch October 1st, 2024. Also, I want you to check WhatsApp. You're gonna open the Play Store, search for WhatsApp. If you see here open, that means that you have the latest version. But if you see here update, that means that you have to update your WhatsApp. So we're gonna open WhatsApp. You can only consider this transfer successfully if you see all of these chats here, okay? So let's check this specific chat. This chat has a lot of stuff, guys. We have voice messages. We have emojis, memojis, stickers. We have different file types. We have contacts. And here we have a lot of pictures and videos. Make sure the videos are playing, okay? The goal of this video is to transfer all of these chats from the Android to the new iPhone. Only when we see all of this on the iPhone will be successful, okay? I want you to do a fresh backup of your WhatsApp. Select the three dots, settings, chats, chat backup. I have 72 megabytes only. Google Drive will give you 15 gigs of storage. If your WhatsApp backup is more than 15 gigabytes, you're going to have to buy more storage from Google. You have to select an account to do the backup. I selected suamigoalex5 at gmail.com. Frequency, you can put daily, include the videos, and here end-to-end -end encrypted backup is going to be off. So once you select all of this, you're going to click backup. So why do you want to do a WhatsApp backup? To make sure you move all the latest conversations and files to the new iPhone. So last backup today, size 72 megabytes. On the iPhone, you're gonna see it like this, right? So you're just gonna configure it really quick. I'm gonna put English, United States, continue, set up without another device, select your Wi-Fi. Now the iPhone is communicating with the Apple servers. So data and privacy, continue. Set up iPhone, set up for myself, face ID later, create an iPhone passcode, click on passcode options and click don't use passcode, don't use passcode. We're going to set up that later. But this is the screen that we need, guys. This screen is called transfer your apps and data. So we're going to click from Android. It says transfer from Android. Open move to iOS on your Android device. But where is move to iOS? That's an app we need to download on the Google Play Store. This app is developed by Apple. So here it is, move to iOS, and you're gonna install it. Open, Apple privacy, you're gonna agree. It's easy to switch from Android to iOS. Restore your messages, apps, photos and videos, okay? Continue, agree, send app usage data, and don't send, allow apps location permission, continue while using the app. Turn on notifications, continue, allowed. This says connect via cable. Use a cable to connect this device to your iOS device to get started. And there's an option that says continue with Wi-Fi. You're gonna need a cable. It's gonna be a USB-C to USB-C cable. I have one here, they should work. Click here and click there. Okay. Transform via cable, continue. Connect via code. You should see a code on your iOS device. We just have to click continue and we're gonna see a code. So once we see this code, you're gonna click continue and you're gonna put that code there, 265194. Now it's preparing and now you have to select what to transfer from the Android to the iPhone. You can transfer everything guys, but in this video, I'm just concentrating on WhatsApp. So I just want my contacts allowed. Google account, allowed, and WhatsApp. A lot of people are gonna tell me that they don't see this option of WhatsApp. In order to see this option, you need Android 12 or above. And here you're gonna select WhatsApp. Move chats to iOS. Transfer your chats and media history to your new iPhone. You will not be able to transfer later if you skip this step. Click start, getting chats ready, almost done. Next, it says 62 items, 74.6 megabytes. So that's what we're gonna transfer. Double check what you selected and click continue. Transferring to iPhone. Keep this device turned on and connected to power until the transfer is complete. It says about one minute remaining. 
And that's it guys, it's done. And it transfer 83 contacts to Google accounts and WhatsApp. So here I'm gonna click done. And what happened if I try to open WhatsApp again? It's gonna be closed because I already transferred here. So a lot of people ask me if they're gonna lose anything on the Android. And the answer is not. You're not gonna lose anything on the Android device. You're still gonna have your apps and your photos and everything, okay? Now let's configure the iPhone. Now you can disconnect it now, continue. You need to sign in to an Apple account. Let me use my Apple account. Depending on the security that you have, you might get a text. 623-177. Okay. Terms and conditions, agree. So it says, make this your new iPhone. Continue. Set up cellular. Transfer for nearby iPhone or use QR code. In this case, guys, I don't have an eSIM on this Android. I just have a regular SIM card. So we are not going to move the number to the new iPhone yet. You can do that later. So I'm going to say set up later in settings. Skip eSIM setup. Skip. The silent mode, click continue, action button, not now, camera control, continue, continue. Welcome to iPhone. Review Apple account phone number. No, that's okay. Set up cellular. I'm going to put use this iPhone when share your location. Not now. Set up cellular. Not now. This is the thing. You see what's up here? You need to click on what's up. Download required. View in App Store. And we're going to have to download what's up. Okay, continue. Turn off personalized ads. Allow App Store while using the app. So you just click on the cloud and you should be able to download it. And this is the other thing, guys. Here, I do have the latest iOS, which is 18.1. So this one has the Apple Intelligence already on it. Or you may need to request it. Apple Intelligence, Apple Intelligence preparing. Okay. Finish setting up your iPhone, not now. Yeah, so here you have to be patient. You know that Apple is going to give you 5 gigs of free storage on iCloud. So if your WhatsApp backup is more than 5 gigs of storage, you need to buy more storage on Apple. I think it costs $1 a month for 50 gigabytes. If you don't have enough storage to save your WhatsApp backup, of course, you're not going to be able to retrieve everything. That's the reason you need to make sure that your WhatsApp backup fit first on your Google Drive and second on your iCloud account. On the Android, you store your WhatsApp backup on Google Drive and on the iPhone, you store it on iCloud. Okay, it's done. So we're gonna open it. Welcome to WhatsApp, agree and continue. WhatsApp would like you to send notifications, allowed. Okay, and this is the thing though. What's the phone number we're using here? 954-393-6339. Another thing guys, if WhatsApp send me an SMS, I'm gonna get it on the Android. Why? Because I still have my SIM card on the Android, but that's fine. As long as you have access to the SMS that WhatsApp is gonna send you, you are good. You don't need to move it to the iPhone yet. You can do that later. So double check the number, click yes. Send in code and it says open WhatsApp on your Samsung Galaxy A15 to get the six digit code entered here. But this is wrong, guys, because if I try to open WhatsApp, it's going to be already log out. So I'm not going to do that. That's a mistake that they need to fix. We're just going to click need help getting a code. Retrieve on other device. Get code on Samsung Galaxy A15. SMS. Try again. So the best choice is voice call. I'm going to get the voice call on the Android. Continue. That's it. That's Meta. That's WhatsApp calling me. To receive your WhatsApp verification code, press 3. Your verification code is 7423999. Your verification code is... That's it. That's how you validate it. And here it is, guys. Move chats from Android. A lot of people thought that we already lost the transfer, but not. Only here, after all this stuff, is that we see that we're moving actually from Android. Click Start. Permissions needed. Start. You're going to allow full access. And now you're moving chat from Android. Chat history moved to iPhone. Chat history moved to iPhone, guys. Click Next. WhatsApp would like to access your contacts. Continue. Allow full access. And here I'm going to put my name, Alex. And hopefully, I'm going to see all my chats. It says create a passkey to make your next login easier. I'm going to click not now. And this is it, guys. All my chats that I used to have on the Android are here. And this is the proof. Look, let me open this one. You see, remember I showed you this on the Android? And I told you that if I can see it on the iPhone, that means that we are successful. And I can see absolutely everything, guys. My Word documents, everything, contacts. And we're going to check the pictures and the videos. 
You see, that's a video that is playing. So everything transferred successfully. The next thing I'm gonna do immediately is I'm gonna do a backup on the iPhone. Settings, chats, and chat backup, auto backup. You can put it daily, include videos, end-to-end -end encrypted backup, leave it off, backup now. Couldn't complete backup, tap backup now to try again. This error is normal. So you're gonna click again until you can do it. Now it's doing it, you see? So you have to click twice. And you can see here that my backup is indeed 70 megabytes. It's gonna do it on iCloud. This backup I'm doing here on the iPhone is being done inside my iCloud account, the account that I used to configure my iPhone. In that case, it's suamigoalex2 at gmail.com. And as you remember here, in order to do the backup, I use suamigoalex5 at gmail.com. It doesn't matter what account you use because the WhatsApp backup on the Android is saved on Google Drive and the WhatsApp backup on the iPhone is being saved under an iCloud account, okay? So it doesn't matter if it's not the same email. I mean, it's taking a while. After this, you're done. By doing this, you will have a WhatsApp backup on the Android and on the iPhone. If for some reason I want to use my WhatsApp account on the Android again, I just have to open WhatsApp and authenticate it with the phone number. That's it. I will have all my chats there. If I want to move to another iPhone, I can just authenticate the number and I will have my backup there once this is finished. Okay. And that's it, guys. I just wanted to tell you that. So people ask me, so what happened with the pictures and the apps from my Android? The apps is easy. You just go to the app store and then you find the app that you want to download that it was on your Android. And then the pictures, there's different ways to transfer pictures and videos, you know, so that's not hard. What is hard is to transfer your WhatsApp data. That's why I show you how to do it. Please follow the instructions step by step. If you have any questions, please let me know. I want to thank you for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. If you want to support what I do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on my next video. Take care, guys.